Okay, so now we're doing our spicy chicken alla diavola, or chicken of, in the de style of the devil. This is gonna be a spicy rubbed roasted chicken with a thick cut sourdough crostone and braised onions. A Little bit of lemon juice over the top to finish. It's gonna be absolutely delicious. So as you're in your recipe that I've provided, you have your chicken rub. So the chicken rub, you can make a big batch of it and then just keep it in your dry storage or your spice cabinet, your spice racks. And I, I suggest seasoning the chicken as per the recipe a night in advance. Uh, as you guys are testing the recipe, you'll see for the local palate there if you want to keep the spice on it overnight or if you want to just season it to order. It is very important that you do a couple of these chickens beforehand, before service, because uh, th this dish does take a long time to prepare. So for people that are in a rush and dining, you want to make sure you have a couple par-cooked chickens. So first you liberally season the outside of the chicken with the diavolo rub, or the chicken rub. You also season the inside of the chicken liberally with the diavolo rub. Um, as you can see, this chicken has all the bones inside of it, and I'll show you how to debone it for service um, after it's done cooking. So once the chicken's seasoned, you can put them in the, in the refrigerator in a hotel pan in your walk-in and let it sit overnight. Um, you can also do this just before service or a few hours before service. Again, you're gonna have to test with the local palate there and see if people like it a little too salty or less salty. It's really up to the local taste. Here in, in America, we in LA, we do it the night before and let it kind of cure the chicken. So you get a sizzle platter. This is not a commercial sizzle platter, but this is what we have here. Uh, liberally with olive oil, you get a nice thick cut piece of bread, sourdough. As you can see, it's a very good quality sourdough. You rub the front and the back side of the bread with sourdough. It's most important that the side you're gonna leave down really gets rubbed nicely. Okay, and then you've got your braised onions that I've provided the recipe for. Very simple, just thick cut onions that have been braised under steam for 30 minutes and then in a convection oven um, for another 20 minutes uncovered to get a little bit of color. These are also seasoned with a little bit of the chicken rub. You're then gonna put the onions on top of the bread and you're gonna put all the chicken stock on top of the bread and really, really soak it. Okay? So it's very important that the bread is soaked all the way through. The chicken goes on top of the bread, fits nicely. Make sure it's not touching the, the platter other than the, the leg a little bit. And that will go directly into the oven. Okay, now the chicken's been roasting for about for about 35 minutes. About 20 to 35 minutes, depending on the, the heat of your oven. Mine took a little bit longer because my oven's not as strong as yours will be. So as you can see, the chicken has a beautiful color. As you can hear that, some cr cr crispy crust. And there's plenty of juice left on the bottom. It's a little drippings from the chicken, plus the chicken stock. So at this point, this is a dish that you don't want to be rushing to, to serve. At this point, you would then take the chicken off of the, off of the bread and you would put it onto your resting rack. In this case, I'm going to be putting it onto my cutting board. Okay. Um, the chicken is very hot at this point. It's better if it rests for about 10 minutes. So we're going to let the chicken rest and then we'll revisit. Now the chicken's rested, we'll separate the thigh from the breast, okay? The thigh just simply gets cut in half from the drumstick, as you can see, perfectly cooked all the way through. And as you start cutting the chicken, you can start building it on top of the bread with the onions directly on top of the bread. So the bread first on the bottom of the plate, then the braised onions, and then the chicken starts going on the plate, very decoratively. The breast, if you wanna remove the bone, you go into the bottom where the breast bone is. And 
go underneath to where the wing bone is and just go ahead and slice down and across and the whole breastbone comes out and you're just left with the juicy breast. And then the breast you cut in half, half the breast you put on the bread and the last bread, the last breast with the wing sticking up, you put on top of the bread as well. The bread is kind of acts as a heightening to the dish. You then grab your, your roasted lemon that's been on the plate and you go ahead and add your extra virgin olive oil. And if you want to squeeze the lemon in front of the guest for them, just make sure to cool the lemon down. And that goes on top. Sprinkle with a little bit of parsley and it's done. Enjoy.